Hey everybody, 8 Josh here, and welcome back to Starbound. So I just, uh, I went on our little, oh, that's not it. Went to our little navigational thingy, my bobber, and, oh, I can't look at it because we're moving. There we go. And I went to a new star system, the Lapine Mirror, or Lapine, or Meyer, Mirror, Meyer, I don't know. Anyway, to find, like, an ocean planet so we can do the, this part scan objects for the high Hi clues whatever so anyway this is where we are this little planet here got a lot of oceans because that's where these people live above and below oceans and pet our cat so let's head on down Ooh. it's cool it's cool here in the waves. We've everywhere we've been so far has just been like a either grassy or foresty um, type planet. So to hear like ocean waves is pretty cool. Uh, oh, okay. I was like, how do I swim up? Cause I'm gonna drown. Man, it's super deep. Okay, we don't want to go too far though because this is our air and. And it's going down fairly slowly, which means we could have some time down there. Oh, the pine or uh, palm trees. Uh, oh, are these guys? Are they like steaming? Whoa! Yeah, here. Like parrots. They look like parrots. It's like little crab crab guys. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Whoa! No, thank you. Oh. Take that. Oh. Ooh. This little weird wormy guy. Oh man, there's so many new... Get out of here. So many new creatures that we haven't... Uh, seen before and they're all hostile actually that's probably just because it's nighttime all the creatures at nighttime are hostile so let's start digging all this sand which is nice because it digs pretty quickly Copper as well. All oh, the sand's like kind of wet. You can see like a little bit of the water. That's cool. Just like real life. If you, you know, dig down in the sand when you're at the beach, eventually you'll start getting into where it's just completely soaked with water. So that's cool. I like that. It's a neat little touch. Yeah, sand. You can dig so quick with it. Now, what I might actually do, and kind of, now that I'm thinking about it, don't want to do this underground, but make a little base of operations here. And then that way, um, where is my sand? There it is we can just kind of have a place to come back to when we're not exploring. Let's cut down some trees. This is always the most interesting part <laughs> of this game is when you have to build your little your little base. Ooh, learn to craft coconut drink and coconut ice cream. That's cool. Plus five more things. Wonder what those other five things are. We're gonna cut all this down. I mean, we have so much wood, it doesn't really matter, but... You there! Get out of here. 
he makes like a little, like a little spiny, like turns himself into a, like a dagger. It's crazy. It's crazy, yo. Oh, some coal. Get that. We'll need it for some fires. All that fun stuff. And if you're wondering about my mask and the little, like, spiny things coming out of me, I got that in the ceremonial hunting grounds when I was searching for their artifact for the last quest. They don't provide any sort of buffs to my stats, but I just thought it looked funny. Alright, so put that there, put our torches back. Um, where are my torches? There we go. Put those back. I took a lot of this stuff, like, building stuff out of my, uh, little toolbar up here during the boss fight in the last video. So, just kind of fix that up. Okay. And let's kind of level all of this out. So we're gonna make make ourselves a little base. And we need some flat ground. <laughs> if I can remember what buttons there I put things. Would be helpful. Oh. Get out of here, you. Yeah, take that. Actually, probably end up doing anyways, like putting wood or something down to use as a flooring, so all that sand will be going away, anyways. Okay, and we got ourselves a nice little flat surface here. Let's bring up some. We have so many building, so much building material, so much, so many building, different building materials. Dry sand. Just regular sand. Ornate wood. We've got tons of dirt. What's that? Rusty metal. We've got some dark smooth stone. Timber. Timber! Unrefined wood, so we'll need to turn that into timber. Let's use some cobblestone. Make a little cobblestone floor, shall we? How about... Let's do this. Build like a little, little foundation here. built ourselves a little makeshift, you know, uh, dwelling here just in the meantime till we can, you know, make it a little bit better looking. I went ahead and I built our, all of our crafting equipment, and when I was doing it, I didn't even realize you can upgrade them. I had an upgrade to my furnace, 
So now it's a industrial furnace, which I guess you can make more things out of it. I have a ton of sand from digging all that out, so I can make a bunch of glass now. And actually, if we wanted to upgrade this more, we would just need 20 or two more glass and 10 volatile powder. So that's cool. Then I wonder what five timber and six titanium bars. So that's not too bad, really. Medium snowball. Why would you want? Ooh, neat. Oh, well, we're gonna need that for sure. What is it? Okay. Make sure it doesn't take a lot of our stuff. You obtained an Enviro Protection Pack. These specialized devices enable the user to survive in otherwise inhospitable environments. You can also... and then I didn't read the rest. <laughs> Alright. Well, that'll definitely come in handy because we are on an ocean planet. Where do I put this? There? Okay, I this doesn't I just put it on there for aesthetic looks it doesn't do anything but so take those off for a second that way we can kind of take a look look see at our little thing we just crafted so that's cool it's got like a little radar on it let's go test it out Whee! oh see no oxygen bar that's pretty rad. So we basically have unlimited. Oh, look at a little jellyfish. Unlimited. Whoa. Oh man. That. Okay. Before we go and do this, <laughs> I don't want to get too carried away. It's very cool. But. It would really suck if we died in the water and all of our shit would probably just float to the bottom of the ocean. So we won't do that just yet. But let's check out, we really need to figure out food. That's kind of our most important thing at the moment because as far as food goes, we don't really have much. Ooh, we got some raw fish from that, that's cool. We have a lot of seeds, which I'm not sure how well stuff will plant in uh, sand. Oh, you know what? Actually, I need to make a campfire so we can cook that seafood. There we go. Might just expand our base a little bit so that our campfire is not outside. And then let's see. Cooked fish. <laughs> Eggy toast. That's cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and eat our fish. Seafood generally isn't very filling, so <laughs> at least in my experience. I can eat a ton of seafood. So, uh, you know, you know what? That, that campfire is okay outside. Can we get through there? Cool. Alright. So, back to here. If we want to make our next... Right now we have the scouter's uh, armor, which is like the tier 1. So if we want to go with the tier 2, all we need is one wool for each of these so if we go over to our spinning wheel and make three excellent and then we come back here cool so if, like we look at what we have like our current breastplate or chest armor, whatever you want to call it. Currently we have 25% attack, or 12.5 armor, so 
it's definitely better. So we are going to create all of these. Make our little helmet. And our trousers. Excellent. We don't need those. Don't need those. We already made that. So let's get back to our... Put those there. We'll put that there. And we'll put that there. Oh, I kind of liked our little... Uh, like our little visor thing. But, you know, 15, 7 and a half, 3, 3. So, that's okay. You can't even see it anyway because we have this mask on. If we took the mask off, then we'd just look like a little soldier boy. And then, what do we have here? We should make a door, probably. Like, can't even make like a wooden, just regular wooden door. Timber! I think we needed 15. So we'll go ahead and craft our little wooden door here. This is, uh, oh, cool. stop it. Not what I intended for this video to be, but as I've said before, a lot of times these videos just because of the open nature of this game, it's so easy. There we go. It's so easy to just get sidetracked. And that's okay, because I love these games. Or this game. It's so fun. Oh, that guy was. No! Take that, you. It's my dwelling. Get away. button. There we go. So we check that little foraging table, which is kind of honestly useless, at least at this point. Can we upgrade our... Oh, we can. So what do we need? Oh, we just need two more glass. Hell yeah. Let's see what other cool shit we can make. over here, upgrade our crafting table, our inventor's table. It's gonna take basically all of our tungsten, but that's okay. So now, it's an engineer's table, and what else do we have? We have a fossil station, ooh, kitchen counter. What is fossil station? Used to make fossil excavation tools and display cases. That's cool. If you don't know, there's actually like fossils around in this game and you can find them and then you know if you collect a whole set you can display them pretty cool used to produce wholesome foods variety of effects Ooh, a refinery used to pr produce raw pixels from ores Meh. the kitchen though definitely what do we need 15 timber let's make that right now kitchen counter <clears throat> hmm we're gonna have to expand our home again well not again I haven't done it yet and just going up here down about there actually I think we need to go one more for the door back and then just go ahead and round out our little uh oh. foundation here that's the word I was looking for <laughs> okay 
this. Excellent. And we can put our campfire back here. Because it's always good to have a campfire inside your house. Build our little kitchen. Right there. And then, oh. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So let's see what we can make. Ooh. Let's make some bread. How much bread can we make? Three loaves. We don't have... Let's make some chocolate. Why not? Everyone likes chocolate. Ooh, coconut drink. We make 27 of them. Ooh, learn to craft coconut rice. Best reason to crack open a coconut. And my personal favorite, coffee, which can only make one. Oh, a flat white. I do like a flat white. And then what's this? Recipes. I don't have any recipes. Well, I kind of wish we had some more stuff to make. Like, we could go kill some fish and make some fish fingers. Like fish sticks? You guys like fish sticks? You like fish sticks in your mouth, do ya? <laughs> Alright. Uh, oh, look at all the drinks. Can I pick them up? What do I do? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. She's right there. Um, how do I... How do I, why can't I pick those up? Oh, because my inventory is full. Drink, drink up. Yeah. If I learned anything from watching Castaway, is that coconut juice or milk or water, whatever it's called, is a natural laxative. So. <laughs> cool. Oh, it's come oh, look at this guy. Yeah, you want some? No, you don't. You don't want none of this. I didn't even see that guy there. Oh, you're so mad you can't even get up here. And that one guy just ran himself right off into the water. Man, we got such a beautiful spot for a perfect sunset. Look at that sunset. It's beautiful. Right over the ocean. Our little little mountain uh, mountain of sand well I think this is probably a pretty good place to end this episode I didn't get as far into this as I wanted in fact we didn't get anywhere in that but we got to this place and we built ourselves a nice little makeshift home for the time being so I think I will leave this here anyway I am 8 Josh, and thanks for watching. See ya.